Well, communities in western North Carolina, they're counting on encouraging news today from transportation officials. Yeah, destruction from Helene continues to impact the region's tourism industry. And Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz, she has been live out in Rutherford County for us this morning. Myra, what are you seeing? You know, we're just off Main Street in Chimney Rock, one of the most popular places to visit, especially at this time of year. But all the visitors right now are volunteers or workers with the Department of Transportation. Uh, everybody's trying to put this place back together. Now, joining us live to tell us more about what's taking place is Shane Zalous. Zakoli, yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay, Mom. Okay, well, yeah, I do know for sure that you're with Spokes of Hope. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. We, you know, the town's devastated. They're moving the river. We've actively already got most of the business owners' property and personal belongings out, mm -hmm. and now we're starting the mold out, cut out process. Um, we're committed here for probably five to six months. National teams coming from all over. I partnered with City Serve, 180 Disaster Relief, and Spokes of Hope are the three big ones in here, yeah. kind of exclusive. So yeah, so you know, we want to point out that you uh, started Spokes of Hope in 2018 after Hurricane Florence right. ripped through the Myrtle Beach area, and so now it's become a national group. You have people from all sorts of states here. But tell us about what is happening right here. Well, the river where we stand over my left shoulder was land and business in Chimney Rock. Mm -hmm. On my right side is where the river used to be. So at this point, they're moving the river back. NCDOT is moving the river back to where it originally was, and then we'll start this whole rebuild process on the new side again. Yeah, right. they've been shifting it one way, then it moves itself, then they shifted it back, and now they're moving it. That's right. The water was over our head at this point. Where I stand, the water was over our head, rushing at about 70 mile an hour with millions of gallons of water just destroying this town. So your group of volunteers plans to be here for the long haul for months right you know when when many of them saw the damage that happened you know what are they what were they remarking on and what how did it touch their hearts well I mean as you pull into this town or any town that's devastated this bad it, you, it's like all you see is the mass destruction but that draws you in closer to that long-term commitment so you know we know what they're going through. We've done this before, and I went through it in, like you say, Hurricane Florence. So it's it's just like the Lord with us. He commits to us for life, and we just want to commit to this town to serve them until we know they're back on their feet again. Yeah, and you know that uh, sense of faith is strong throughout this community. There's, there's a Romans 12:12 12, 12, uh, boarded up on a lot of the storefronts. What does that stand for? Well, Romans 12, I'm going to paraphrase because I don't know exactly what it is, but I just asked the Lord to give me that simple scripture that would speak to that brokenness, and it just speaks of joy, patience through the disaster, and then prayer and faith. So joy, we want to bring joy to these people. We want to bring and, and take that low, God's yoke is light, and we want to bring that light, light yoke. And then we, we ask for patience through the process. And then in the end, they pray. So. And what advice do you have for people, you know, like, because you've been to many of these disaster areas, for those who are, you know, just waiting for life to get back to normal? Well, I mean, it's a process, so everything has to happen the right way. So if we're going to rebuild something just like that new foundation, we got to start from scratch again. So we gut it all out, we tear it out, and they know they just have to be patient through the process. Shane, thank you so much with Spokes of Hope, doing so much work in this area. And later this morning at 11 o'clock, we're going to hear from the North Carolina Department of Transportation officials as they give us an update on the work they've done so far. Reporting live in Chimney Rock, Maya Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.